Welcome to today's lesson titled Lesson 4, The Relationship of Division and Subtraction. Our student outcomes today, students build and clarify the relationship of division and subtraction by determining that 12 divided by 3 equals 4 means the same thing as 12, take away x four times. So to begin, we'll start out with a simple division equation. We have 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Let's see how that relates to subtraction. So if we do 12 minus 3, 4 times we get 0. And here's what the process looks like. 12 take away 3 equals 9. Then 9 take away 3 equals 6. 6 take away 3 equals 3. And 3 minus 3 equals 0. And we can note here on the side that we've subtracted the number 3 4 times. On to our next example. We're still working with 12 divided by 3 equals 4, but we'll look at another way that you can use subtraction to represent the division. So this time we're going to take away 4 three times. And here's your process once again. 12 minus 4 equals 8. 8 minus 4 equals 4. 4 minus 4 equals 0. And at this point, we can once again note on the side that we've taken away the number 4 three times. Now we're going to use a similar statement, but we're going to throw in a variable. So we have 12 divided by x equals 4. So that means that we're going to be taking x away four times total. So here's how the process looks. We start out with 4x's equals 12. We take away 1x. Then we take away 2x's. Finally, 3x's. And then all together, you take away 4x's. And you'll note once again, no boxes left. We subtracted x four times. 4 is our quotient. We'll go on to the exercises. Um, take a moment. The first one's been done for you. And complete the work. Pause the video and come back. Just a little side note, when you work on this one here and this one here, you're going to have to make your boxes really small to fit them all in. So pause the video, come back when you're ready. All right, welcome back. Here's the completed work. Take a moment, check your paper for accuracy. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's go on to the next section of the lesson. So here it's very similar to what we just did before, slightly different. Again, the first row has been done for you. Go ahead and complete the work. Remember for 35 and 42, you're going to have to make your boxes really small. So pause the video, come back when you're ready. So how did you do? Very similar to the last time, except of course this time the divisor indicates the number of units here. And we can see that the work is very similar, but the groupings changed just a little bit. So check your work for accuracy. If you have any mistakes, go ahead and correct them. And if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll go right on to the next exercise. Exercise two, answer each question using what you have learned about the relationship of division and subtraction. So here's some little brain teasers. Uh, read them carefully one at a time complete them, and when you're ready, come back and we'll check over your answers. So how'd you do? Uh, the first one, if 12 divided by x equals 3, how many times would x have to be subtracted from 12 in order for the answer to be 0? What is the value of x? So you'd subtract it 3 times and x equals 4. Then we have part b, 36 minus f, minus f, minus f, minus f, f equals 0. Write the division sentence for this repeated subtraction. And what is the value of f? So we have 36 divided by 4 is the division sentence. And of course, the value of f equals 9. And part c, if 24 divided by b equals 12, which number is being subtracted 12 times in order for the answer to be 0? And in this case, it's 2. So congratulations. You did a great job on today's lesson showing the difference or the relationship between division and subtraction.